Hey folks, thanks for dropping by. My name is James. I'm a 23 year veteran in the marine industry. I've worked at production facilities. I've worked in boat yards. I'm a certified marine mechanic in five major brands. Uh, I've done tooling, gel coat repair. All over the last 23 years, I've learned a wealth of knowledge that I wanna share with you folks. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the progress of a 1980s 15 foot Johnson Skiff custom hull extension modification that I mentioned in my 2020 projects uh, compilation video. Check that out. Um, got a lot going on. As we pan around, you'll take note that we haven't removed the factory seating, we haven't removed the factory storage boxes, haven't removed the bow piece in the front. The reason we left all this stuff in is for structural support. So to avoid deforming the hull or allowing the hull to deform. This hull was very straight still, uh, surprisingly, so it's a perfect candidate for a refurbish. And you'll notice we did have to cut the, the center of the seat out, but we left the, left the sides in here for the gunnel support and to support the bottom of the floor. The transom is removed, had to remove that so I could scarf in the hull extension and get a good proper scarf in there of about 10 to 12 inches. Moving forward, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do another video on a transom install, stringers, bulkhead. 30 or four videos in, I'm probably gonna show you folks how to do a custom one-off cap and get that properly bonded and glassed to the hull. So uh, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button and uh, the notification bell, stick around. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and hope you have a blessed day. I hope y'all enjoy this quick music free slideshow of how we got to where we are today with the boat. It's just a few pics of the temporary plug being made, uh, the temporary mold being made, and the part being attached to the boat with a transom plug to create sponsons on the back of the boat. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.